So the goal is, is to get a paved multi-use recreational trail that will connect the Elker Creek Trailway that people know as the UB bike path with Transit Road, the Clarence Pathways, Akron, everything points east. So that everybody can come out, whether they're on a bike, whether they're on foot, whether they're uh, in a wheelchair or a scooter, and get out in nature, enjoy themselves, and enjoy the connection with the community in a way where you don't have to use a car for every single trip. Originally a municipal cooperation grant between uh, Clarence and Amherst, and it was a state grant, it required two communities to work together, and it was to build the, the peanut line out through Clarence and Amherst. Now Clarence built theirs, and it was at a cost of $40,000 a mile. And Amherst had a handful of residents that kind of fought them to a draw, and a couple years later, the state came through, they did an audit, they found that the trail was never built, and they took the money back, and that was very difficult for years for Amherst to get grants because of the way they performed here. Now, we'd like to have another chance to get this built. It's certainly gonna cost a lot more than $40,000 a mile now, but if we wait five years, it's more. If we wait 10 years, it's more. And right now, you've got a population, they say 125,000 people live in Amherst, and at lunchtime, it's 175,000 people. So you have the opportunity to connect communities together and create a resource that everybody can use. Right now, it's only available to the few. If you're motivated, like we are, but we're the exception, or if you live where your backyard, like we are here today, is right on the trail, you get the use of it. And you'll see other users of it. There were joggers and, and dog walkers and things that we pass along the trail but it's very few people. We want to open this up to everybody, maximize this resource, and in terms of what the cost is to the amount of people that would benefit for commuting, for recreation, for just being out in nature, and for giving people access to places that they couldn't otherwise go, this is dollars for dollars one of the most affordable projects that you could do. The town actually maintains this right now as a drainage easement, so this is an east-west corridor for water to flow, they're out here cleaning ditches and doing other things, and so there's money in the budget for that already. The actual maintenance cost for the trail would be less than what it costs them to maintain it in this current state. So give them more access, it would be easier for them to get access to where they need to improve the drainage. Um, there's also sewer lines that run along uh, sections of the, tra of, of the trail. That's one of our hopes right now is that um, there's an interconnection between Clarence and Amherst. It's gonna run along the eastern section of the trail. And the town of Clarence has indicated they want that to be paid for easy access. So that might be the first part of the trail that gets built. It might be built in phases. Um, you know, many people will say, well, the west end is easiest, the east end you have some more expensive homes. But, um, you know, there's different projects that are gonna nibble away at this and we're gonna get this done. Um, we want people to be part of the effort. Come out and join us. We're on Facebook at Amherst Peanut Line Trail Supporters. Uh, please sign our uh, petition on change.org. Uh, show up to our events. We post them here. Uh, we ride this regularly several times a year to build awareness. And we want people to talk to their town representatives and let them know that this is a priority. This is what you want to have built. Uh, help the community and ultimately help the entire region because this really is an interconnectivity project. It's a network effect that benefits everybody.